Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to make a single object glow in Unity using a really easy shader graph. Previously, I covered how to make all objects glow, but if you need just one, this tutorial is for you. With that being said, let's dive in. Start by creating a new project using the Universal 2D Code template, which works with Unity's Universal Render Pipeline and Shader Graph. Name your project and click Create Project button. Next, install the Post Processing plugin. Go to Window, Package Manager, select Unity Registry under Packages, search for Post Processing and install it. Then select the main camera and enable the post processing option under rendering. Next, right click in the hierarchy window to create a new global volume. Click new to create a profile, then click add override and select bloom. Enable threshold and intensity setting threshold to one and intensity to 0.8. Now, Create two 2D sprites, a square and a circle. We'll focus on making the square glow. Next, select the main camera and change the background color to black under environment for better visibility of our glow effect. Next, Right click in the assets window and create a new folder named shader graph. Now open the folder, right click and select create shader URP sprite lit shader graph and name it according to you. Maximize the graph. Next click the plus icon in the properties pane on the left, choose texture 2D and name it main text. Then create a color property and a float property naming the float glow amount. Now let me explain these properties to you. Texture 2D allows us to apply a texture to our object. This could be anything like a brick wall texture or a character skin. Next, we have color. This is where you can define the glow color. It gives us full control over the hue, brightness and opacity of the glow effect. The last one is float. It is just a number slider used to control how intense the glow appears. Higher values make the glow brighter while lower values dim it. Now drag and drop the main text variable into the empty node area. Left click on the red dot and release it to open the search menu. Then search for sample texture 2D. Now, right click, select create node and search for blend node. Connect the RGB value of the sample texture 2D node to the base input of the blend node. Drag and drop the color and glow amount variables and connect their output to blend and opacity inputs of blend node. Change the mode to overwrite. Next, connect the output of the blend node to the base color input of the fragment node. Then connect the A output of the sample texture 2D node to the alpha input of the fragment node. Click on the color node and change the mode from default to HDR. Save the graph and minimize it. Now create a new folder called materials and create a new material. With the material selected, go to the inspector window, click on the shader drop down and choose the shader we just created. Now select the square object and drag the material into the inspector window. Click the arrow under the material settings, set the glow to 1, change the color to your desired shade and increase the glow amount intensity to 2. Finally, go to the game window and there you have it. Our square object is now glowing. 
feel free to experiment with the intensity values to adjust the glow to your liking. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on more tutorials. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.